What is going on guys? Jesse from Pew Review. So I'm out here today with the BCA bufferless 9mm upper. If you watched any of my previous videos, you know I haven't fired this thing yet, but I've got a Colt mag block adapter because I haven't seen one with a Colt mag block adapter. And I really wanted to try it. I like the Colt mags better. Um, and if this doesn't work, I've got a dedicated Glock mag lower. I'm gonna give it a shot. But I had to shave the little feed ramp in there a little bit because it was getting caught on the bolt. Other than that, the extractor seems to be working fine. Or I said extractor, um, ejector. These things I hear like to get, you have to adjust the ejector and all that. In this case, I did not. Everything seems to be rocking pretty good. So I'm gonna, I don't have a target or nothing set up. It's late in the day and I just don't have time to set it up. So I'm just gonna pop a few rounds off for a function test. And I'm also gonna pop off a few hollow points to see if it feeds them. So without further ado, I'm pop in my other earplug here. I'm gonna lock it back. Sorry if I'm jittery, just got back from the gym. And I worked out real hard. So got some 115 grain, nine millimeter ball here. This is the first shot with Colt mags through the BCA bufferless upper. All right, let's test it. Safety off, of course. Safety on. Let's go grab the casing. This bolt only weighs 13 ounces. So one concern I had was that we would have an overpressure situation or a case rupture. I don't know how this thing runs good with a 13 ounce BCG, but apparently it runs. So I'm using nine millimeter 115 grain AAC ammo from Palmetto State Armory. That case seems okay. Let's try another. Seems to cycle 115 grain ball, okay. Uh, I'll leave that one in there. All right, well, let me show you. These are 108 grain monolithic hollow points. They're supposed to be doing about 1300 feet a second out of a four inch barrel. We'll see how they feed the cycle. First one's gonna be that 115 grain FMJ. Immediately, I had a double feed situation. So let's lock that back. Yeah, push that round in pretty good, huh? So it loaded. Didn't seem to like the first hollow point for some reason. Let's see if it fires and let's see how it likes this next round. Hopefully. I'll go check the case here in a sec, so I'm not actually going to be looking where I'm shooting. I'm going to be looking where the case lands. Okay, safety on. Case landed somewhere over here. Of course, I can't find it. So, safety's on right now. As you can see, it is not loading the hollow points very well. All right, here we go. We're gonna try another here. Paying attention where this case lands. Okay. So, we are learning. Apparently, the hollow points are way too much for this gun. That was a pretty good boom. The chamber's empty. Mag blew at the bottom. 
here's what the case looks like. So, exactly as I thought would happen, we've got a case rupture. So, BCA, we've got an issue with that. It seems to cycle FMJs fine, uh, but it's not rated for anything above that, clearly. This is only 108 grain, and although it says 1350 feet per second on the box, I know these things are actually a little weak, but we've got a case rupture. That's a good way to lose an eye. So I'm going to go read the fine print and see if there's anything that they say about it not being rated for this or what. I'm going to have to look into that. But that's a problem. That's a serious problem. So don't expect to run hollow points through here. That's no bueno. Okay, see if I can safely pop these pins out and get the gun apart because I want to look down the barrel and make sure that I don't have any serious catastrophic issues here. Try not to lose any parts here. All right, so no squib loads or anything like that. I don't know if you could see down the barrel. Even if you can't, there you go. You can get a little bit of light through there. No catastrophic malfunction other than the fact that a casing ruptured and blew a serious amount of residue in there. I'm gonna put it back together. Let me look at my trigger group. This is a Gazelle two and a half pound trigger, by the way, anyone wondering? There is powder residue and everything all over the place. Hopefully it didn't mess up anything in my mag block because it blew that mag out the bottom. So I guess we'll just have to see. All right, gun back together. I'm never ever running hollow points through this again. That 13 ounce bolt just can't handle it. Okay, safety on. I racked that in just fine. Got me nervous now. All right, safety on. Let's see if I can find the shell casing here. Okay. So the 115 grains are okay. The edge of the casing is getting dented on every single one. If it'll focus, it's getting dented pretty good. And I'm guessing, come on. There we go. I'm guessing that's happening as it's hitting the charging handle here. So I'm not seeing an overpressurized issue with the 115 grain. What I will say is do not run plus P ammunition through this. Do not run hollow points because this gun clearly doesn't like it. That bolt does not weigh enough. It only weighs 13 ounces. I weighed it. I got another video, look it up. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything over standard full metal jacket. Uh, so I'm gonna send those concerns into BCA. I'm gonna read through the fine print first. I don't wanna knock them as a company, the gun's functioning. Uh, but if they didn't specify that this thing's not rated for hollow points, then that's an issue. So, all right, I'm gonna continue to empty this mag. I've got about I don't know, 15 or 20 rounds in there. So, without further ado. Okay. Have another failure here. Just looks like a failure to feed. locked open on the last round so we've got some hiccups to work through um, they didn't really say if this thing was rated for Colt mags so the fact that it's working with 
double stack Colt mags is pretty cool. I like that. And the last round hold open does work. Push that down there. Okay. It does work. That makes me happy. Um, but as far as a truck gun, I like carrying hollow points. So this upper is clearly not going to be the one for that. I'm still going to stick with my PSA four inch barrel. Um, that could have been catastrophic, could have lost an eye. So 100% do not use plus P or hollow points. I'll say it again, you will get injured. Other than that, standard ball, it runs just fine. And uh, I'm gonna go do some reading and send my concerns back to Bear Creek Arsenal. Thanks for watching. <laughs>